I grew up right on the farm. Um, I started feeding calves when I was younger and then kind of just turned into a passion for the dairy and went to Virginia Tech. I graduated in 2012 with a dairy science degree and then came back and started running the dairy. Just about everything here we built ourselves. Back in 65, the first of January, we uh, didn't have very much of the farmland here cleared, it was in woods, and we uh, have a sawmill, so we cut the trees down, sawed the lumber, built the first milking parlor, freestyle barns, and cows have been milked here every day since then. We milk about 800 Holsteins in a double 12 parallel, which was built in 2000, and we direct load our milk. For us, Holstein was just the, the perfect cow because of the, not only the, um, quantity of milk, but just the ease of taking care of her. Well, when we increased the herd, we wanted better cows, not just, you know, more cows. So that helped with getting the registered cows that we wanted, the quality of cows. And uh, now we're doing a lot of flushing, the very top end. We market a few bulls. We've sold some bulls to other farmers to use as herd bulls, and then we've also sold some bulls to stud. So registered Holsteins has helped us be able to sell bulls. We use the Easy ID. It's great for me to be able to just register animals on my own with the program. We love being able to see all the information right on the ear tag and then have all that information in our computer as well. So that's one of the advantages that registering our animals has helped us with. Well, Virginia is a pretty diverse state. We kind of have everything. We've got beach, we've got hills, we've got mountains. And we're kind of in a pretty flat part, so we're about 30 minutes west of Richmond, which is the capital of Virginia, so we're very close to the city. So we get a lot of people who've never seen a cow or who've never been around agriculture at all. So we started planting sunflowers four years ago for bird seed, and then we had a big problem with people coming onto the land, trespassing, cutting flowers down. So we ended up thinking, hey, why don't we make this a festival? The people obviously love sunflowers, so Last year, um, my sister-in-law, my mother, and my two aunts and I went ahead and planned the festival, and we had about 6,000 people come out to the farm over four days. And this year, we are back at it again. We think that we can do a lot of agritourism events and have people come out and learn where their food comes from. It's important to me because lots of people just think they go to the grocery store and get a gallon of milk. They don't think about all of uh, everything that happens every day behind the scenes we're out to provide them with something that's great for them. Well, working with family always has its issues, but it is nice as well because, you know, whenever we're together, we are usually talking about the farm and we can all get together and work together and we all have an end goal in mind, I think. And so being able to communicate um, well is nice and helps us to be able to pr all progress towards the same goal. Everything here is homemade. 100%. We came up in the sticks and we're still in it, so you work hard and keep on going.